Wild genes are making um, DNA tools very accessible to conservation management. Um, previously, a lot of this technology has been in the realms of academia, and what we strive to do is try and actually take that technology and make it something that can be very um, usable in the field. Wild Genes is a wildlife genetic laboratory, and essentially we take um, DNA technology and tools, and we try and work out how best to apply those to informing conservation management. Genetics is really just the analysis of DNA. DNA is a, is a molecule and in, in that molecule it holds the code, the entire code if you like, the recipe, the instruction manual that makes uh, individuals and species, that makes up a person. We can't get away from the fact that research and work being done behind computers or in laboratories is a fundamental part of conservation. Wild Genes tries to aim to plug the gap between the huge advances in genetic analysis that have been made within academia and the need on the ground to make conservation decisions that, that might be underpinned by genes. So for example things like what animals to release for a reintroduction or what animals to mate together within a captive breeding program. The Wild Genes Lab and the genetic management that goes around that informs all of our genetic projects. Their results or conclusions underpin where the animals are sourced from or what animals would be used and uh, it really is a crucial part in any of the translocation, reintroduction, any of the projects we do in this terms of the field programmes is underpinned by genetics from the World Genes Lab. There are specific types of questions where genetic analysis can either add value or perhaps is, is actually the thing that is crucial. A really good example of that is the wildcat situation. So wildcats are hybridising with um, domestic cats and they're crossbreeding. And the thing that's really a sticking point for, for conservation of wildcats in Scotland is, well, what are we trying to conserve here? We need genetic analysis to help us to understand what cats are wildcats and what cats are hybrids. You can't really get an answer to that question without looking at the genes, looking at the DNA. With the work we're doing with Scottish wildcats, we are now able to take samples from wild living individuals and see if A, they are extensively hybridised or they're, they're minimally hybridised. We're also able to see how closely related uh, they are to other wild cats or feral cats or hybrids from that nearby area and it, that, that uh, in its uh, entirety gives us a, a really comprehensive understanding of the genetic issues and how we can tackle them from a conservation pr perspective. So obviously everyone's familiar with the idea of um, conserving species from extinction but we're not just worried about that, we're also worried about the the, the genes that underpin those species, for example, like beaver. Beaver populations were um, hunted to near extinction within Europe. There's a huge amount of genetic diversity that's, that's been lost forever. That's what we worry about as geneticists. We want to uh, conserve genetic diversity, and the reason why we want to conserve that is because having healthy and diverse genes within a population actually is one of the, the things that will help that population to survive the best into the future.